Hello everyone, I am the Lore Explorer, and this video will contain spoilers for Outer Wilds. A few months back, after showcasing a video with mods for Outer Wilds, one of the viewers commented that they thought it would be cool if they modded the quantum moons in the game to not have clouds. So I actually went to the Discord and suggested this, and one of the modders were kind enough to make that a reality. And I'm really glad I did because this is so freaking cool. I don't know, it just looks so amazing to me. The modders set it up, so these are all actually in the solar system at the same time, just orbiting around different planets, so you can find them and experience them all at the same time, and just in a different light. For example, looking at the hourglass twins here, it kind of sort of makes sense that a second planet might form when all of that sand is just being pulled up from the surface. And gravity does work in weird ways. This might actually be sort of reality in a little bit of a sense. I mean, if it got pulled off the planet, it would likely get pulled into the sun and not form its own planet. But, you know, a little bit of give and take here with reality, and boom, you have this awesome binary system. And... I wouldn't have really thought about that if the clouds of the quantum moon were still there. Timber Hearth's version of the quantum moon without clouds almost looks like a whole new planet. The only thing is, you know, they use some tricks, game design tricks to hide some things that we would never normally see. So it doesn't look entirely like a full planet, but it does look really cool. And one thing that's kind of weird is you notice in this mode that all of the geysers go off simultaneously every time they go off, which is a little different than, you know, on the regular planet, but it's still pretty cool to see. And we see here, even though we're not really meant to see, that the whole planet is still built around this quantum material, which I think is pretty interesting, but we'll get to see that better on a different planet, or er, quantum moon. This is what the inside of Brittle Hollow looks like, but to have the sun shining on it like that is just so beautiful, it's mesmerizing. So I think Brittle Hollow's version is probably my favorite version of the quantum moon without the clouds. It's also pretty cool to be able to just jump and fly around these moons like, you know, you, nothing's wrong, like it's not about to just disappear if you don't have a picture of it or something like that. So to be able to nonchalantly just walk around like this is pretty cool. And again, for some reason, without the clouds there, it just feels different seeing these random things floating on Brittle Hollow. I don't know why, but it just does. And it makes you think, well, okay, we know the crust of Brittle Hollow has gravitational properties, so I wonder if these things were in actuality on Bramble for a long time until maybe Hollow's lantern crushed them all out of the sky. Giant's Deep's version is actually a sight to see too, because this one is mostly quantum as a whole. I don't know why, the ocean doesn't really load, and you, but it, it's just amazing, it's mind blowing. You see the tornado flying all around you, so it does kind of still have an atmosphere if you get down there, but the ocean's not there, and it's the only one you can see the vortex coming out of the side of it as well. I don't know why you can't see that on any of the other moons. Actually, thinking about it, this might not be Giant's Deep version. I thought that because of the atmosphere, but I mean, I don't remember all that quantum nonsense being there, all those rocks surrounding. I just don't remember that stuff being there, so I don't know what's going on here, but I like it. And last but not least, we have everyone's favorite, Dark Bramble. And I was so surprised at how small the quantum moon of Dark Bramble is compared to Dark Bramble. I mean, you could fit this thing inside of one of its openings. It's just so small. It's like a little snowball. I mean, it's just so tiny. But I do like this little snowball with, you know, trees sticking out of it, because that's basically all this is, the little ice ball. And I don't know, that's about all there is. It's not all that interesting, not all that much to see here, but I do, you know, it's pretty cool to see like this. You can see the North Pole of just basically just one mat, one giant mass of this tangled up vines and stuff. It's pretty neat to see. And now, actually lastly, because I was indeed wrong before, this is actually Giant's Deep version of the Quantum Moon. And I guess the atmosphere just kind of confused me there. That was the Eyes version of the Quantum Moon that I mistaked for this one. Mistook? Mistaken? Mistooken? Anyway, this is the actual Quantum Moon of Giant's Deep, and it looks pretty cool. I like how the uh, tornado's just kind of sticking out the top there, and the rest is just a ball of water, and then it's pretty neat to actually see the character inside of the tornado, but, you know, from a pulled out view and seeing, it, it was just pretty neat to see for me. But 
That's all I have for you today. I just thought it was neat that a fan suggestion that I suggested to the Discord got made, and it actually has a really cool result. So I really appreciate that. I like that, you know, that came from the community, and I think that's awesome, and I wanted to share it with you guys. So a big thanks to Gpixel, who was the mod author, and the fans who suggested this. If you like the video, consider liking and subscribing to the channel. It really does help. And as usual, a huge thank you to the members here on the channel. This is the Lore Explorer, diving deep into the game so you don't have to.